I literally just wanted to come on and talk about streamers in general. So I've been trying to stream for like past couple days, maybe like the past week. I switched over to Twitch because it's easier to keep. It's got a lot more sets that I can keep up with with how many hours and blah 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 and all that. It's the twentieth right now when I'm recording this. It's the 20th of March. I'm trying to do kind of like experiment. I've only been streaming for like consistently for like the past two or three days. I'll say three, but I've only for the past two days I've been streaming on uh, Twitch. I could do both as well, but uh, I feel like my internet might die if I try doing that. You've probably seen this is old news at this point. The whole Aiden. You know, and this little group contract thing with like Cuffin and all of them. I don't know any of their names really. I was, you know, I don't really pay attention to any more. It was just big news that came out. They had like that 50,000 deal, 50,000 a month deal. Cuffin and whatever that group was, I think on was Prime or some shit. So they had 50,000 uh, monthly plus, you know, free rent for their staying, all that kind of shit free rent like warehouse and they had to just stream 90 hours all they had to do basically was just stream for 90 hours i'm starting just over just over the uh halfway mark of march and i was wondering if i could do 90 hours with only half the month it's not even half because i didn't even start on the 15th like i've got work as well you know work normal weeks you know 40 45 hour uh 45 hour weeks so you know i'm still still got work still got other things i need to do so i want to see how many hours i can get in half a month and see how close i can get 90 hours that's just the little experiment that i want to do if you guys want to also check out my twitch it's uh cootie nz on um twitch i'll have the link in the description to put this into perspective in New Zealand, well, in the industry that I work in, supermarket industry, industry, the average day is usually about nine, nine and a half hours. It's usually nine and a half because for some reason they don't count the 30 minute break that you have, which is ratchet, but that's what it is. So it's nine and a half hours. So you get paid for nine hours. And that, you know, usually you work five days, most people five days. We're just going to say full-time worker is five days and nine hours for like a normal supermarket employee. So that's 45 hours. So obviously 90 hours is literally two times that. That's two times the workload than of like a supermarket employee. But also streaming comes with a lot of benefits where you can just stream whatever you want and you can just take as long of a break as you want while you're on stream. And you're getting, you not only, you get, you can get a lot more money than just, you know, being in the supermarket. You get paid hourly streaming. You can just get paid like every minute. Sometimes you get big donations from YouTubers. People just, you know, subscriptions, monthly subscriptions. So, you know, you know, recurring money, one-time donations, everything. And it's just a lot more fun and easier. There's only 11 days left. And also, I've still got, you know, work a lot of these days. So I'll only be able to do four hours. So I'm going to have to do a lot of maybe 12, 10 hours streams throughout these days. And uh, I mean, obviously, I'm probably not get 90. But I just want to see how far I can go, how many hours I can get while doing all this shit. It'll be interesting. It's just interesting to think about. If you want to support me on this little experiment that I'm doing, just come out of my Twitch. It'll be in the link in the description. And yeah, I'm going to try to get... 90 hours worth of streaming done and literally half the time that these people got and also i was just thinking like with the string with the 90 hours per week like not not fifty thousand per month and this is us so for someone who's in like new zealand that would be like 980 to ninety thousand a month so what if i was to do conversions let's see let's take the fifty thousand hours fifty thousand hours and divide divide it by 90 because that's how many hours you're gonna have to do so they're making 
$555 per hour. $555 per hour of streaming. That is... Okay, put yourself into this... Into, you know, this lens. How many hours would you work if you made $555 an hour? Imagine you made that in a supermarket. People would be blitzing it to... They would want... They would work 10 hour days. And that and that's USD. That's not even my currency, which is NZD, which is a lot weaker. So I'd be getting like 800 per hour. 800 per hour. That is literally 40 times what I get at the moment per hour. And that's... Oh, I don't know if like um, 50, it's 50,000 after tax or before tax is the US. So we'll just say before tax. Let's take off it's fucking 300. You're still, and that, that's taken off quite a bit, but you know, I can't be bored. I'm, I'm just basically going to half it. You're still making 200. That's 200 per hour. That's still 10 times what I get in an hour. Or I'll be working all the hours every day. Every day, bro.